forced situation because you know you have to make a lot of birdies. Now Baddeley, this for par. Oh! Well, I use the term limit the damage. That is certainly limiting the damage. That will also help your putting stats when you have zero putts. Ashlyn Sullivan doing interviews for us. Pearson Cootie, number one in the PGA Tour University rankings by Velocity Global. Oh, wow. You'd think that Gary's done this once or twice. <laughs> uh, looks to continue that. Now, Alexander at 12, Gary. That's the what we want to see, get things moving early. So good start there for Tyson. I would love to see a smile. Gary Christian on the ground, Andrew Sullivan on interviews. This is Batia, his approach here at his first hole, the tip. Right in the middle of the fairway to start his day, and this one sent straight over the pin. Cole with just a scoring wedge in here. Would have seen Akshay's shot. And you can see it just getting a little fiery around the hole, firm, every shot we've. This is Eric Cole for his opening birdie. And this looks like it's in. It's got it. First one to read this putt correctly. We've seen them miss left and right, so. All right, to 18. This is our leader playing his final hole, Zach Fisher, already at eight under. Eight under par. Sending this way up in the air. And beautiful shot from from Fisher. Absolutely gorgeous. This is not the easiest finishing hole. All right, Bati, uh, his third shot after his approach ran off the front. Oh. Ooh. Hello. We are back. James Nitties, coach, Gary Christian. This is Davis Thompson at 14. Gary? So from 150 yards, needs something happening. This is looking really good. Oh, yeah. What a shot that is. Maybe this will get the round going. Well, Gary said it. Very interested and... Did his homework. Oh, that was beautiful. The ball rolling end over end and straight in. Third shot. Really great recovery, James. Yeah, saw him pitch out of the trees to this position. Now, great spot. And look at this. In there tight to about three feet. And it's sort of a similar thing with him stepping away. He got his perspective back and got the hunger back. Well, he's going to eat next year, hopefully on the PGA Tour. How about Mark Anderson here on 17? Five birdies in a row, but sometimes you need this to happen. Oh, this is a bonus from over the back there. That was a great shot. And that man right there, Nelson Ledesma on 18. Under the radar, second shot into the tough 18th. Fantastic. Dropping it on a dime. He would make that to get to 14 under par. Another mini to a legend. Needs something to happen this week. Look at this. Bingo. Somebody really liked it. <laughs> that part was as flashy as his shirt, that's for sure. Another guy, 28th on the points list currently. Needs a good week. How much pressure do these guys feel that are just outside the top 25? Oh, obviously none. I asked that entire question while the ball was rolling. Again, gets back to the short iron scoring clubs that he's been hitting so well today. So good opportunity here. Oh, beautiful. Woo! Look at that. Much better tempo there. Back to what he's been doing all day. So we heard Justin Thomas talk about how just winning is tough. Everyone's good. There's so much talent. The game's deeper than it's ever been. Yep. Get there. Get there. Bingo. Just sneaks in the left side. So Nunez continues to move up the leaderboard. He's now at 10 under par. Four birdies offset by just the one bogey. Yeah, after the good drive, just inside 150 yards. This is actually a very accessible flag, and that is right at it. Oh. 
There we go. That's what we have come accustomed to seeing over this past round. It's a good swing here. Oh, beautiful from Cone. Huge shot here into 18. Gives you the opportunity at 15 and 16 at mm -hmm. easy par fives and difficult holes at 17 and 18. And this one a little out to the right. But not far at all. <laughs> what a great shot by Nunez. Matt Atkins, birdie at 18. Look at this. Wow. Oh, oh. Unfortunately. <laughs> That undeniable laugh is Anthony Anderson. Greer, South Carolina, so it's kind of cool. Now back out to 18. Johnson wrapping up his round. Oh, straight over the pin. Beautiful swing here. All right, how about four birdies in a row for Rob Oppenheim over at 16, this for an eagle three. Wow, this would be something if you could get this outside opportunity to fall. It's a long putt. You notice I said for four birdies. I didn't expect him to make it, but that's my oh. fault. Wow. Come on. Five under in his last four holes, and he gets to 14 under par. Let's go to Echeverria to 14th. This is second shot. Pin position front left. Oh, and this is a beauty Ooh. from Echeverria. Oh. Baby. How about that for an eagle two for Nicholas Echeverria? Good opportunity here. Fisher, one corn free to till Q school. And yes, here we go. They are literally making putts from everywhere. walking towards it and that's exactly why great shot there for Robbie Shelton so we'll have an opportunity to get to 19 under par and James we heard him talk yesterday to Ashland oh wow he is absolutely on fire today all right over to 16 Ben Griffin for his birdie here to get to 18 under one back well, this would be huge Oh, yes. She yes, slides in the left side in the uh, obligatory Saturday fist pump. With that flag tucked at the front, just got to be careful. You cannot miss this one left. But his distance control has been spectacular. And there is another one. Look oh, at that. Oh, oh. Gary, you are dead on. And James, when you watch that swing now, it is as smooth and as fluid as you could ever ask for. He is just rolling the rock. And James, let's be honest, I think a lot of us would like to go back to 16 with the minds that we have now. It has the possibility to run off the green. Everything runs away to this right edge, so he's got to be a little bit careful. Maybe. Ooh. And Gary, you just described that perfectly. Look how much farther, James, that went past the hole. He could have an extensive lead here heading into tomorrow. Absolutely. Straight up the hill for the number two putter on tour. Boom. <laughs> Has he got enough? Oh, wow. Shelton. This is just silly almost what he is doing out here. And look at that scorecard. How about six under on the front? Already four under on the back. Regain control of the tournament here for a birdie at 11. Massive birdie here. Eventually, this would be a two-shot swing with his playing partner, Griffin, making bogey. See what he learned. Oh. He learned a lot, Gary. That's for sure. With Griffin. Well, this is a man who is just fresh out of college at Clemson. And he is part of the new PGA Tour University program that so many players are now taking advantage of. Look at that shot. 
college stars. Most of them have teed it up in a PGA Tour event before, Corn Ferry Tour, but now, now you can get paid. That's a whole different ball game. Look at that eagle putt. Are you kidding me? Oh. Scaring the hole as it went by, but we've seen it this week, James. These greens are fiery, and they are hard. All right, now Bridgman, the ACC Player of the Year for his birdie. Wow. You better believe it. So that's going to get him to 19 under par. Griffin's going to be happy just being in the fairway. Now Bridgman, his second shot at the par 317. Oh. Oh. For what his journey has looked like, we'll get more into that in a second. Now, Nunes at 14, his second shot. Back left, hole location, and wow, look at this. Sticks it in there to about five feet. Look yeah. out. All right, out to 14. Nunes for his birdie to tie Bridgman at 20 under par. I like the way he operates. He looked good all day yesterday. All right, Ryan McCormick, this is 16. This is just a moment ago at 16 for Eagle. Is to get to minus 20. Oh, wow, McCormick. So we're out there hustling. We got the shirt out. We're grinding. We've got our lunch pail. Looks good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And the fist pump on top of it. So Griffin goes from a tie for fifth into a tie for second. Tour after this week. One more look at the reaction. That's what I want to see out of a player. And coach, considering that his tee shot was going maybe 40. Oh, Ashlyn, I think we're going to be talking to him really soon. All right, Nunez for birdie at 15. Big pot. He's got it. Wow. Boy, that is a big time putt after his chip. And the result, as you would expect, James, better. This is a missed opportunity where he was in two, and now Gary Shelton to get to 23 under par. All right, well done there. So a very important birdie for Shelton at 15. Nitty's coach, Gary Christian, is with Griffin at 16. Very quick last third of this chip. This is going to take an eternity to get there. So good-looking shot, really good-looking shot. Oh, you can see from that camera angle how severe that slope he had to come up and over. Finish strong, put some pressure on him. Wow. All right. So Griffin, who said he's taking advantage of every opportunity out here on the Corn Ferry Tour, he nearly quit the game of golf, and now he's on the brink of the PGA Tour. But if you miss it right, as you said, you have that hump to deal with, and it's very quick. You miss it left, bounces way left. Now that is an exceptional shot. Griffin, wow. That is one of the closest shots we've seen all day here at 17. He is stepping up. First two days really about the athletes and the, and the, the celebrities, but this is all about Ben Griffin, Gary. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now that is a birdie when you need it the absolute most. This year, and look at this part. Quick sliding, finds the bottom. Well, you saw that little smirk. He knows that a birdie on this hole is few and far between. But now here's what we set up, guys. He's at 22 under. Get the hole! That went left right off the putter face. But that will be a stress-free par. And now for how many holes is it, Gary? Five straight holes, six straight holes. It never broke back, and it took 74 holes. But Robbie Shelton got the job done in South Carolina. And he's your 2022 BMW Charity Pro-Am champion.